Hey guys, SC Dark Toss here. Gonna teach you today how to tame one of these Panthara here for hunters. And the first step in this is actually going to be Talbuk Meat. You're gonna want to actually head to Crokel Hovel. For this, you actually need to get this item called Fresh Talbuk Meat in order to tame these things. So, first off, what you're going to want to do is just head straight forward out of there, and there'll be your first Talbuck, which in this case is the Chitinous Crag Scalers. And so you're going to attack it and try to loot it. Unfortunately, these have very low drops, which I'll get into later. So on the map here, I'll highlight in red. This is where you're going to want to be at in this area in order to farm for this fresh Talbuck meat. This fresh Talbuck meat also only has about a 1% drop with these uh, Chitinous Craig Scalers. However, of all the Talbucks in Argus and in this expansion in general, this has the highest drop rate of any of them. So this is the most advantageous place to be. So you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna start heading north and then just kind of hang a left, obviously avoiding the uh, giant Garothi Decimator there. Now down on this side, you'll notice that there will usually be a few hanging out alongside the path and walking on the path. And you'll also notice that there's some wild Craig Scalers too that you can't attack for whatever reason. I guess they're consider considered friendly or something. But yeah, you'll just keep going along here, firing at all the Craig Scalers. And also, you'll notice that uh, there'll be a group of three, a pack of three Craig Scalers, as you'll see. I'm gonna run up and chase these guys here. There's actually a pack of three that spawn along this path, so it actually is a nice three-for-one deal that you can go and get these guys, and they respawn about every 10 or 15 minutes, which is just about enough time to be able to run the whole loop that you'll see me run here. As well, occasionally there will be ones that'll spawn further down here, but not always. Don't mind me, I'm gonna mine some Imperium here. I work on engineering too. Alright, so now that we've been down this path, we're gonna head out and kinda hang another left. And we're gonna actually start making our way towards Destiny Point. And you can go through there too, but it's kind of a hassle since you have to fight off like 20 guys, so it's not usually worth it to me. Plus, you can hit an another extra, I think, three Craig Scalers on this side if you don't take a shortcut. As you'll notice, once you're on this path, make sure that you're watching out for that giant guy there. And as you can see, we're coming up on Destiny Point right now. And within this area, there's actually a couple more Talbucks that spawn in a group, which I'm heading towards right now. 
assuming that no one actually already got them. But as you can see, I'm pointing towards it right there. And looks like they are there. And depending on your eye level, you won't be able to get through these quite as quickly as I am. Um, as you can see, they're even taking out my health a decent amount. I'll occasionally end up using my uh, acceleration in this case. So luckily, hitting it in this like three-forked path area, you can actually end up getting quite a few. And if you just keep kind of going in a circle around all three of these paths, you'll end up getting fresh Talbot meat in, I would say, an average of 10 to 20 minutes. This last time when I was making this video, it actually took me a lot longer than usual. Um, but that being said, there was one time where I went through and ended up getting three in one go around. So it's actually pretty decent to farm, all things considered. I mean, it's still an absolutely atrocious drop rate, but all in all, it's not terrible. I can nearly guarantee that you would get at least one in a half an hour if you are doing this and there's no other hunters looking for it at the same time, at least. And, of course, trying to get around this giant Garothi decimator there. Can't find a way. Hi. Nope. This thing is the worst. Alright, cool. Turned around. So now we can start heading that way. Maybe try to get around him without getting aggroed. Maybe? Nope, okay. The yeah, okay, we can skip top. over the dumb world quest. Keep mining. Alright, and you'll notice here that uh, the group of three is going to spawn right about where my mouse is. And it popped up right there. So they actually do start spawning you down there on that hill. Once again, I'm back more towards that hold area, I think. Or towards that lake, I guess. And then here's where I actually pick up the meat. I'm about 15 minutes in right now. And you'll notice it's fresh Talbuk meat right there. And it actually shows up if you organize your bags. It'll show up in consumables. It won't show up in your junk. So it'll actually organize it out for you. So that's pretty nice. Alrighty. So. Now this is the actual taming portion of getting a Panthara. So one of the first and most important things is that in your specialization and talents, depending on what spec you're in, uh, you want to, in your talents, take camouflage. And obviously you need to be doing this in a rest area, that's very important. For us marksman hunters, it's also very important that you actually don't have the lone wolf activated, because then it won't let you tame at all. Um, some people recommend going into su survival mode. I don't really think that that's necessary. However, before you start your taming, make sure that you dismiss your pet, because that'll be very important. Next, another thing is also make sure that other people don't get in the way of your taming. So, in this order, what you're going to want to do is activate your camouflage, and then you're going to want to actually get pretty close to the panther, a little bit closer than what you'd normally be comfortable with. Then what you'll do is you'll throw a freezing trap, and you'll freeze it, and then as soon as you can, you'll feign death 
to get rid of it. And then what you'll do is you'll throw the meat, make sure that it'll actually reach, without unfeigning. So throw the meat, make sure it gets that bloodied effect, target it, and tame it. And then as you'll see here, it'll channel it. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Now, the only downside is, what'll happen is, is if you don't have this meat, or if you miss, it won't have that weird bloodied effect on there. And instead what'll happen is, is you'll try to tame it such as this. And instead of taming it, it'll just say, Panthera, Apex, shimmers into, and it shimmers as it fades into its surroundings. So that's why it's important that you throw the meat. And there you have it. So I hope you guys found this video informative and helpful for you as a hunter. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and throw a like and subscribe to my channel if you would. If you have any comments or questions about it or think I just did something really terrible, just go ahead and let me know in the comments as well. And I'll see you around next time. Thanks for watching.